John 3 verse 31. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of the earth. The Holy Spirit is real. He who comes from heaven is above all. It's an angel of God has come immediately and manifests himself, show himself. Commemorating the life of senior prophet T.B. Joshua, the Daniel of our generation. today, viewers all over the world. My name is Apostle David Ponyami. I would love to take this opportunity as we are celebrating the first commemorative year of the passing of the senior prophet T.B. Joshua. Well, there is a lot that can be said about him. But today, I would love to share part of what I knew about Prophet T.B. Joshua. I want to write this in this language. This is Holy Spirit. Righteousness. Oh. That belief. I prefer to write in this language than the English language, because you cannot read. <laughs> this is righteousness for all that believe. Would like us to go to that book of Daniel, chapter five. In that verse twenty-five. Then the hand was sent from the presence of the Most High God, and this inscription was written. This is the inscription that was written. Mene, mene, tekel, person. Numbered, numbered, weighed, and divided. Daniel's explanation on mene, mene, tekel, person was using human language to read and explain the unintelligible words on the wall. He now said, this inscription of the message, many, God has numbered your days and finished it. God has numbered your days and put an end to it. Tackle, you have been weighed on the scale and found wanting. That is, you have been put on the scale of righteousness and you are found wanting. That is deficient. Person, your kingdom has been divided and given to the Medes and the Persian. Taking us back to what happened in the olden days. When the king came, when the queen came, found the king, Belshazzar, troubled, he greeted him and said, O king, live forever. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not be alarmed. There is one man in the kingdom, one man who can read these words and give out its meaning. His name is Daniel. When he came, he saw these mystic words on the wall in their lambent light and he read them. When no one could read, no 
interpret or explain its meaning. Meaning what they went through was simple. That an unrenewed spirit or mind cannot interpret things of the spirit. An unrenewed man cannot understand things of the spirit. Prophet T.B. Joshua was the Daniel of our generation. This was the man who could not only speak in tongues, but could also write in tongues and explain them like Daniel in the Bible. Remember, I told you that I've never been to any school. Sometimes when you speak in a tongue, I just look at you. Sometimes when I hear you people speak in a tongue, I listen. I, 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 I nod my head. But how can a person speak the language he cannot write, he doesn't know, and he doesn't even understand, cannot even translate? The language that has no power. It's meaningless. I can write a letter with it. I can I can write a book with it, but nobody to read. <laughs> <laughs> nobody to read. The Bible says, "Only spirit will speak through us." I'll write it in English and I'll translate it in. Okay, I want to write it. Holy Spirit will speak through through us in language which we have not learned. Okay, what language? Which language we have not learned? Okay, Holy Spirit. <coughs> will speak language so this one I cannot teach you it's God instead that will teach you it's not something I will say, okay, say it following. No, 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 no. Like English, you, you have to give spelling A, B, C, D. This one has no alphabet. God will teach you himself and will teach you everything I cannot teach you. He will inspire you. But you don't know that I can write, I have this language. When the power of anointing come, you will be given, that is, the test. You will be given power of vision, healing, you prophesy, speaking in tongue, you will not only speak in tongue, you write it. You become your language, heavenly language. So your, your, your ethnic language will become when I'm alone, I speak in tongues too fast. It's not something I should display in the midst of people. In Corinthians 13 verse 1, 
the Bible says they are tongues of angels. The speaking of new tongue is to speak in a language you have not learned and see immediate results. When people speak in tongues, we should not rush to judge them. In fact, we need to wait patiently and see if there are tangible results. You just touch, you don't read really, just touch the language and see what will happen to you. Ah. <laughs> so we need to draw near us to God. I want to ask you, do you believe that you can greater than me, you can be like me? You believe? I want you to choose more serious, more committed, more committed to God, not to me. I'm a servant. Even if you want to show it to me, I will say no, I don't want it. Show it to God. Show that committed to God and serious. My experience with Prophet T.B. Joshua in this regard was that whenever you meet him, he will use this language to write down. I remember during those days when I was looking for a land for a church he began to write down in this mystic supernatural language that I could not read and immediately he writes down he says I'm seeing a big blessing before you I wonder how are you going to handle this? It took only two weeks after I have met him that I encountered a revelation where I saw many ministers of God all over the world. Those that I knew and those that I did not know. And I see this angelic being talking to each and every one of them. And I could not hear what the angelic being was saying to them. But suddenly, this angelic being was standing in front of me in a very huge field. Hold my hand and begin to speak with this new tongue. And in my heart, I said, what is he saying? But the angel could read my heart that I did not understand the language. And the angel spoke with the tongue of men and said to me, what Prophet T.B. Joshua has told you two weeks ago is about to happen the land where you will start and establish the work of God. If I try that language, you will stand up. I will call the language now. Now, if you now stretch it, anything can happen. But they maintain her now. What can you say about what, what happened to you? 
You can not talk. It's, Don't worry. It's just... Uh, it's, um... I was here, I was, uh... Mm, Never has he. Mm. He's so very, 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 very. Mm. <laughs> As if he was a. He's a. He's. <laughs> other world. Who's he? Wa, wa, wa. He's sick in his door. What is that? Glory. Oh, the baby. Glory. Who's the baby, baby, dear? Uh-huh, continue. I'm, you, I'm, I'm, uh, okay, I want to speak the language to him. You hear? I will, st- I will speak, I will start. Give him, give him a mic. Let him talk. I will speak, I start. The Holy Spirit is real. I wish to abolish to Bob Resty here. Yes, I will say, I will say, I will say. The glory is getting heavier. I will say, I will say, I will say, I will say. You can do it and stretch forth and see glory and power. I will say, I will say, I will say. It's the Christ life. It's it's in you to be produced all over. You can say, I say. I will speak with my eyes to make my eyes to my eyes It will not just be history, it will happen now, in this time and this place. Okay, this guy, I try. We can do what I do for you, we are trying to try. You can try if you live that life and you will see it happening in you. I try. I can try. See, I have told you so. It's in my eyes to you. It's so easy, you can just do it. What? If we say that. What is that? It's true with my eyes to my eyes. It's in you, so just release it. Love the life. Well, it's really look at that. Jesus, thank you. It's really actually yeah. just respect. So we just thank you, Jesus, right. for your glory and your power. Well, That's it. Okay, myself, you are free. This is what happened in the Pentecost. I don't know him. I don't know him. I'm seeing him. I have never met him before, but we are speaking language that I have never met him before, but I am speaking a language you don't know, and he's replying me. Are you not surprised? Yes. From South Africa to Nigeria. This is to confirm what is happening here. This is exactly what happened at Pentecost. He said, after he said, something came out of him. Unrighteousness came out of him, and righteousness came in. Are you understand? Unrighteousness in him that deprived him of the blessing went out, depart, while righteousness entered. So immediately righteousness enter, he started sp- speaking in tongues. The language, heavenly language. He can write it. If I give him chalk, he will write it in the world. The one you speak, can you write it? If there's anybody that can write the language you speak, oh, come and write it. If you have any language, heavenly language, write it in the world. I'm here to, to, to challenge you. you. You speak, you only speak in tongue, but you cannot write it. You don't even know what you are saying. But you learn, what is the meaning? But I'm here writing the language, heavenly language down. I'm writing it on the wall. This is Prophet T.B. Joshua, I knew. A prophet like no other. Out of many experiences, this is one of them. We bless God, we thank God for bringing us to live in the era and times of a man like him, a prophet like no other. Senior Prophet TV Joshua, we want to say thank you, Jesus for your gifts. Thank you, Jesus, for your servant, for his contribution in the body of Christ, 
for his contribution to mankind, for his contribution to someone like me. Let us continue to celebrate and remember him. He shall forever live in our hearts. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Eternal, eternal life. I want to live eternal life. God save my soul. I want to live eternal life. God save my soul. The greatest way to use life is to spend it on something that will outlive it. Let us watch and pray. Oh